Hello, this is Imatit with Samuel Oke. Okay. This channel is dedicated to helping young mathematicians reach their full potential as soon as possible. And in today's lesson, we will be looking into the even and odd part of functions. So we'll be um, learning how to calculate, how to obtain the odd part of a function and the even part of a function. Well, what is odd function? Now, if you replace x with negative x in a function, and the function does not change, then that function is said to be even. I will repeat that. If you repeat, if you replace x with negative x in a function, and the function does not change, then the function is even. While on the other hand, if you replace x with negative x in a function, and the function changes, then the function is said to be an odd function. So, a function can be having both odd parts and even parts as well. Let us try out this. Let's say a function of x is s squared. Let us replace x with negative x and see what happens. When we replace x with negative x, so that will be negative s squared. And that is the same as s squared, right? So that shows that that function is an even function. And look at this. What if x raised to power 3? When we put negative x in place of x, you will notice that this is not equal to x raised to power 3. Instead, it is equal to negative x raised to power 3. Right? So we say this type of function is an odd function. So now, beside the fact that we could have a function being odd or even, a function can also have odd parts and even parts. Now, the even part of a function is given as f sub e of x. And the formula for obtaining, obtaining it is f of x plus f of negative x and divided by 2. And the formula for obtaining the odd function odd part of a function is f naught of x, where f naught of x is the odd function, is equal to f of x minus f of negative x and divided by 2. Okay, now let us see specific problem, and we would find the odd and even parts of the function. So this is the question, the problem we want to experiment with. We have to find the odd and the even parts of the function 2x raised to power 3 plus 2x squared minus x and plus 1. Please, if you are getting value from this lesson, hit the like button and subscribe for more educational content like this. So, to obtain the even part, the even part is given as f sub e of x, right? And it is equal to f of x and plus f of negative x and all divided by 2. So we need to obtain f of x. What is f of x? The function of x we have here is 2x raised to power 3 and plus 2x squared and minus x and plus 1. Now what is f of negative x? Let us put negative x everywhere we have x in f of x. So we have 2 into negative x squared, excuse me, negative x raised to power 3 and plus 2 into negative x raised to power 2 and minus negative x minus negative x and plus 1 and this is going to be 2 negative 2 x raised to power 3 right minus raised to power 3 will be minus and minus raised to power 2 will be plus so we have 2 x squared there and minus times minus is plus so we have x there and plus 1. Now we have an expression for f of x and f of negative x. So let us put this in the formula to obtain f sub e of x. 
which is the even part of this function. So f of x is 2x raised to power 3 plus 2x raised to power 2 minus xn plus 1. Now we would add that to the f of negative x, which is negative 2x raised to power 3 plus 2x raised to power 2 plus x and plus 1, all divided by 2. Let us open that bracket there. So we have 2x raised to the power 3 and plus 2x raised to the power 2 and minus x plus 1 um, minus 2x raised to the power 3 plus 2x raised to the power 2 plus x and plus 1 all divided by 2 okay so at this point it's easy right you notice that the negative 2s cubed cancel out each other we have positive and negative there so when we combine these two we have 4 x raised to the power 2 and you notice negative x and positive x cancel out each other so then we have plus 1 and plus 1 so we have plus 2 so this is f sub of e remember we divide this by 2 so we split the fraction to obtain 4x raised to the power 2 all over 2 plus 2 all over 2 2 in 4 is 2 right so we have 2x squared and plus 1 and this is the even part of that function of x okay let's obtain the odd part of this function and the odd part of the function is given as f naught of x okay let us rewrite this um, formula to say space so that we don't have to re be repeating this again so we've um, obtained um, f of x right and f of negative s so let's go on and put it in the formula so f naught of x which is the odd part of the function is equal to f of x which is equal to 2x raised to the power 3 plus 2x raised to the power 2 minus x and plus 1 and minus we are going to subtract that from let's use a bracket so that we can open the bracket with negative we have outside so we have minus 2x raised to the power 3 plus 2x raised to the power 2 plus x and plus 1 um, that is the negative f of negative x so this is equal to 2x raised to the power 3 plus 2x raised to the power 2 minus x and plus 1 now we have minus times minus is plus, so we have plus 2x raised to the power 3, minus 2x raised to the power 2, minus x, and minus 1. All divided by 2. So um, at this point, it's easy, right? When we combine the two, we have 4x raised to the power 3, right? That cancel out, and that cancel out too. So when we combine minus x and minus x, we have minus 2x, right? So, um, all divided by 2. So, let's play the fraction. We have um, 4x raised to the power 3 divided by 2 minus 2x divided by 2. So, 2 in 4 is 2. And the 2 cancel out the 2 there. So, we have 2x raised to the power 3 and minus x. And this is the odd part of this function. And that is how to calculate, that is how to obtain the odd and even part of a function. There will be more explanation on this, on this channel. So please, look out for that. So, well, remember to hit like on this video if you gain value from this lesson and subscribe for more educational content like this. There are lessons on this channel as well on limits of function. Well, I'm going to leave you with a problem to try out on your own. So, let me write that for you. I'm not going to solve it for you, so you go on and do that. So, given a function of x is a raised to the power x, so obtain um, the odd and even part of the function. So, you simply employ that formula and do that on your own. Remember to hit the like. Well, until next time, keep matting it and keep winning.